Okay, these are the challenger hops now, uh, going into the boil. I'm actually doing it myself. There we go. Make sure they're all in there. Don't want to lose any of them lovely hops. <laughs> so, um, what happens now then, Rob? Well, the boil has just come up to the boil now. Okay. Just stir these so that we get them moving about in the, in the boil. So that the, the roll is coming out there. I see. Wow. These are going to boil in here for about 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Yeah, this is the first actual pot that is going in. Right, you can so really smell them, can't you? Yeah, so basically we need to keep it covered up. And that's it. Okay, basically. and that just boils away? Yeah. Nicely for 90 minutes? Yeah. Okay, great. Thanks for now. Okay, uh, so what process do we have here then, uh, Rob? Well, we've taken some um, of the wort out of the boiler and cooled it down just to check the gravity right. in there. Um, we're aiming it around about uh, 35.5 to 36. Um, now this is, at the moment, is coming out at uh, 1037.2, so it's still a bit high, so we need to continue sparging for a little while to get it down to the right line. Otherwise the beer will be too strong. Okay. Strong as in alcohol or strong as in taste? Or strong as in alcohol. Strong as in alcohol. Okay. okay. Uh, we have to check it. If we sparged it too much yeah. and um, the gravity was too low, yeah. it's very difficult to recover from that situation. So you could, do, you could lose the whole, the whole coil? Um, but end up with a beer that's too weak. We want to try and get it more consistent in the rain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, normally on the real ale diet, we are emptying the bottle, but today um, I'm going to do my bit to fill a few bottles up. <laughs> so what we're going to do, we're going to get them on the bottle filling machine here, which we showed you earlier on the video, and they fill up automatically. And I'm going to pass them over to Mrs. Real Ale Guide, who's going to cap them for me. It's, um, I bet, well, Rob's behind the camera, I'm just going to shout over the question. Did it? So. I bet this is quite therapeutic, Rob, is it? I mean, uh, to do this for an hour or two during the day. Well, you just kind of switch off. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Becomes automatic. I see. Okay. Great. So. This is the finished product, they just need labelling and this is the sun, the sun raker. Sun raker, yeah. Okay, all bottled nicely and filled up. Is that about normally about the correct level of the beer that goes in yes. there? Okay. Great. Yeah. Okay, let's have a go. So the, the arm just comes down over the top of the bottle. And that forms a perfect seal. Just a just a quick question while I'm here doing this, Rob. I've got a cap on. <laughs> how long do your beers? How long would you suggest? Because um, you can age certain real ales, can you? How? What sort of age would you um, age your real ales? on drinking them. Would you age them for six months or a little bit longer or? No, not that long, no. I mean, they're ready within a few weeks, basically. Yeah, I see. I see. Um, it depends on the beer. Stronger beers take a bit longer than the um, more standard strength beers. I see. So. Okay. Thanks for watching again. Uh, we're going to get some more footage in the brewery very, very shortly. Cheers.
Let it. Okay, well. You're still going. Okay, so um, we're here with the old labels that uh, Rob used before to label the beer and some of the old pump clips. And we're going to take a look at um, the new style, the old style versus the new style, which has been updated over the last few months. Basically, first of all, here is how the Quantock Ale used to look. And this is the new version on the, on the right. As you can see, the beard is very much... It's, it's, it's a much better label than this. It's, it's more... It stands out. It stands out uh, when it's on the mm. shelf with other yeah. beers. Um, here's the stout. And there's the rebranded stout. And then we have the Royal Stag. So Rob, you used to, I understand you made the labels yourself before, Original, and then you, yeah. and then you sent the new labels out, or you got the new labels in from a, a designer to design your beers. Yeah, originally we designed all the labels ourselves. We designed them, we printed them, we did everything ourselves. Um, but as the bottle beers were getting uh, more popular, yeah. having won a few awards, um, we thought it was about time to get the professionals involved yeah. um, to produce a stronger image. I mean, after all, I mean, it's the bottle standing on the shelf that, yes. uh, that sells it. And you want it to stand and, out and compared to other... Yeah. And the different. same with the pump clips. We did yeah. all the pump clips ourselves in the past. Yeah. But the... Um, design brief basically was to design a new pump clip with a distinctive shape so you've got a family resemblance right across yeah. the range so that when somebody walks into the pub they can see immediately from this shape of the pump clip that it's a pump top beer yeah absolutely so when you first seen a design for these uh, new label beers um, how happy were you when you first seen them? Did they, did, were they striking to you? Oh yeah, yeah, we were very pleased with them. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, there's a local company called uh, Pump Top Design that did them. Yeah. Um, they do pump clips for uh, a number of other breweries, including okay. David Copley, Exmoor. They did the Doom Bar pump clips. Uh, so they were um, well practiced at doing these things. Yeah. So they were the obvious people to go to. They do look very striking. Um, me, if you were asking me personally, if um, you stood the two bottles together, um, I would definitely go with a new, new style of brand. I think it's very striking. Um, it's very colourful, and it just shouts out good beer. Shouts out good beer. Yeah, it's a lot more professional. Yeah, the and the pump clips, if you mm. have a notice. And in the shape of a Q, a Quantock Brewery. There you go. Okay, thanks very much. Check out some more footage in the future.